Did Elliot get Molly pregnant? I need to know. I want to call the police. <sighs> What's the name of Elliot's ex-wife? Andrea. Andrea. Elliot. Molly. Baby. Molly got 50% of her DNA from Elliot. She got 50% of her DNA from Andrea. Baby got 50% of her DNA from Molly. Which breaks down to 25% from her grandmother, 25% from her grandfather. And she got 50% of her DNA from whoever the father was. Now, if Elliot is the baby's father, that means that 50% of the baby's DNA comes from Elliot as its father. 25% of its DNA comes from Elliot as its grandfather for a total of 75%. No, 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 but that, that, that's the thing. We've checked and rechecked, and it's 50% Elliot's DNA in that baby. Okay, so it's 50... <clears throat> Andrea fucked the milkman. What? Only way this is possible is if Elliot is only the biological father of the baby, not the biological father of Molly. Call the police, Wes. No, no, but wait a minute, David. We have DNA profiles of Elliot and Molly, and with 100% certainty, Elliot is Molly's biological father. Well, then... See, that's... Keep going in circles with this. Oh, shit. What? Uh... I need to look at those sniffs analysis. You guys are absolutely certain you didn't mix this up? David, we ran every test twice. Over 500,000 strand SNPs analysis, both Mike and I did them independently. Yeah. What are you doing, David? Well, we're gonna look at some DNA, Wes. So I've got a really creepy hunch. No, not this. I, I, this is Molly and, and Elliot's DNA. I want Molly and the babies. <sighs> what just happened? What? Um, they lined up? The baby is a uh, clone. Come on, David. Well, an identical twin. You can call it whatever you want, but my point is that Molly and the baby are genetic, genetic copies. Elliot is not the father because the baby doesn't have a father. Oh, shit. How the hell could that even happen? Well, Molly was either abducted by aliens or she's from the future. David, could you please be serious? It's being half serious, <sighs> West, because the only other explanation is, uh, well, I don't think anybody here is willing to say it. Oh, come on, David. There's no way. That is impossible. What's impossible? How long have you known me? Too long. Well, then you should know that the word impossible doesn't belong in this What lab. are you talking about? Okay, I'll say it if you don't want to say it. Parthenogenesis. There you go. What is parthenogenesis? Parthenos. Virgin. Genesis. Birth. A virgin. Birth. Have you lost your fucking mind? It is a biological term. David, parthenogenesis has only been seen <clears throat> in aphids, lizards, and fish. Well, actually, the Japanese did manage to recreate it in mice. Okay, but not in humans. Wrong. Search. I've read some articles in Lancet. I read them when I was an undergrad. No, but, but that was before molecular genetics tests, so they were never proven. Well, that's what we're gonna do. Now, in order for parthenogenesis to occur, Wes, two things need to happen. First of all, Molly's egg needed to uh, gain an extra copy of DNA, somehow. Fertilize without the fertilizer. Right, and then the hard part, the part that makes this impossible. That egg DNA somehow had to come alive. Normally it's the sperm that does that, so we need to look for something that, that could trigger all of this. My guess is it's a bacterium. You know, I, I read about uh, Wolbochia pipientis. It does exactly this in wasps. I, I think David's onto something. The, the most likely candidate is a bacterium. A bacterium that somehow infected her developing eggs. We need to look at some of Molly's cells. 